Good morning, YouTube. It's Rob Robovsky, Robov, however you know me, and uh, this here is Reus. I think that's how we're pronouncing it. Uh, let's go back for yeah, Reus. That's how I'd pronounce it. So, <clears throat> what the heck is Reus? Um, we're gonna start with the beginning and give you a show. Planet, you must awaken from your slumber. Surface is dead, only you have the force to bring life. Basically, you terraform yourself through four avatars to make civilizations happen. And <clears throat> this is you, if you're the planet. You wake up. Now, I can move in and out using the mouse wheel right like that and I can turn using the arrow keys okay so like that right you can zoom in like that as far as that's as far as you can move in that's as far as you can move out now right now the surface is utterly dead and I can yeah drag the planet with the mouse like this. Ah, right. And the arrow keys will let me move smoothly like that. Okay. So we're going to create the ocean giant and the rock giant. You only create these guys when it's the very tutorial, as it were, and which is what this is. Alright, so, rock giant. Crab giant is the ocean giant. Okay, and this is the rock giant. He's like a mountains. So we need to like terraform the surface to make it habitable, as it were. And uh, yeah, All right. So let's say I wanted to fit in some ocean, right? I can move this guy around. I can move this guy around, right? By right-clicking on a part of the surface, they'll go there. Right? I just sent the mountain guy a way off. Okay. And by clicking, left-clicking on one of the avatars or on one of these buttons, I can switch to them, as you can see they will have abilities which are currently locked. So I'm supposed to move the rock giant and the ocean giant towards each other and the tutorial's not going to let me do anything until I have done that, so... As you can see, they are now moving towards each other. Well, Ocean Giant has stopped moving once he got to his destination. Rock Giant has a lot further to go because I sent him way off in the first place. Right, now they're together. Spacebar to pause and unpause the game. You may want to do that, especially if you want to have a look around. Statistics for the patch of land, currently nothing. Okay, so we need the ocean giant to make an ocean. Which we're just going to do over here. Now, you're going to have to have at least one ocean. Without an ocean, there's no water. And with no water at all, the planet just doesn't work. This guy is the tree giant, ape face or whatever you want to call him. He's the forest giant. He allows us to plant forests. Forests require water, so there was no point in him showing up until the water was here, but you know. Use the forest giant to raise a forest. So, as you can see, there's an area of effect 
and you can see these little water droplets here. That's the water effect coming out from the ocean. Over here, if I plant the forest, nothing's going to happen because it's not wet. But if I do it over here where it's wet, suddenly we have a forest. Oh, and big handy thing, there's an wet area right over there. Now the rock giant just picked up an ability. He can raise a mountain. Raise a mountain on dry wasteland to create a desert. Now, you can see dry wastelands over here. So, well, I told you about the ocean. You know, remember that? Well, you can have deserts without water. So, let's go and raise some desert. Now, I could raise a mountain right here, which would get in between, you know, the desert and this. But I can actually get two deserts out of this by going over here. I'm going, you know what? Do that. He's going to wander over there. Normally, you'd be, like, juggling these guys. Right? You'd be, like, putting creatures down and setting up plants and upgrading things. But right now, this is just the tutorial. We're getting... We're not under a timer, because normally there would be a timer. You'd have like 30 minutes or 60 minutes to get things done in. So, Rock Giant raises a mountain. As you can see, the desert forms around the mountain. And where the desert meets the water, it becomes forest over here. Where it doesn't meet the water, it eventually just runs out. Now, <clears throat> you're like, hey, what about that ocean over that way? Yeah, we got that ocean still, and that's fine. But you know what? I could just like cover a whole lot of space by dropping an our mountain right over here. Let's see, something about there, I believe. While he's doing that, I could have the forest guy drop one right here. Now there will be swamp as well. And swamp needs water just as much as the forest does. So now we have two nice forest patches, an ocean patch, several desert patches, and as you can see this is a quite extensive desert patch now. And I'm going to be sinking this ocean in over here. I've just cancelled the job I was going to do. Because, you know what, actually, let's put it right here. And suddenly, the desert became forest. Now, mountains are different terrain than ocean, uh, and than desert, and they'll have different biomes, and that completes the first era. So, all we did was terraform the place. So, plant went back to sleep. Blast, it's all gone again. 
<laughs> Once again, we awaken from our slumber. Yeah, I can recall the oceans and forests. We want them back. Alright. Spark of light somewhere deep down below. Is it asking for a surface to live on? Right. So, you can't raise the forest without the ocean. I mean, if I go over here and I go and try to plant a forest, right, I'm, I'm just going to show you. Er, ah! It! Trying! Trying! No, nothing. See? Right, so, have to do the ocean first. hydrated and we need to make a forest of at least 10 spaces so we need to make a back sleep basically a maximum one so that's this one here done now look we can plant fruit plants so, we're going to plant a fruit plant. And what do we get as our first fruit plant? We get a blueberry. Blueberries produce five food and one nature. Uh, as a grove, if it's next to an apple tree, dandelion, or strawberry, you get this, like, synergy thing, and it'll get an extra ten food. As you can see, we have our first human camp. Because there's food and a place to live. the village. That's the extent of the village so far. And you can see they're utilizing the berries. Another quick way of seeing where the village extends to is to see where the outposts are, as you can see. So we're using three of the five food we're that they're collecting. Now we can place more fruit. As you can see, I made more food available. And this is not something I can just spam. I have to wait for the cooldown to reset. Check up on him. Yep, nothing. Now, the village will grow to fill the food that is being supplied. So we'll plant a third patch of berries. As you can see, that wasn't was under the village, so nothing happened. Yeah, I gotta put it over here or over here. Now, I can use this space. I can, actually. The outpost doesn't prevent it. But the village does. And they will make constructions, and that will prevent you from doing things as well. But you want those constructions. Those are projects. Now, they can become disrespectful. They can be threatened by danger, they can be warlike, they can become selfish. If you give them too much too fast, they start getting like greedy. As you can see, the village border moved over here. But also you can see this green patch here. This is the biome effect area. So some things uh, for synergy, like, have to be within their areas of each other. 
we'll get into the more into that one as, as we as we get more complex. Well, since I'm waiting. Yeah, so they want to build a granary. The granary project is a specialization and it requires minerals to provide its boost. Alright, so click on the thing. Mushroom meters. Plus 15 food for each mineral within the borders. Okay. <coughs> it needs 20 food to achieve the goal. We have 12. Now our ocean giant has the ability. He can make us domestic animals. Neat. So, what shall we do with our domestic animals? Well, how about we put some right here? Alright, so what did we just put in? Chickens. Chickens provide plus three food if a blueberry is within their an animal range. So in addition to the four food that they would normally produce, and its range is two, it's going to produce extra food. See, here are the blueberries. So this one chicken is providing an extra yeah, plus three food here. As you can see, the nature effect is doing its thing too. That's good, and the, the village is happy. We're getting 17 of 20 food at the moment. Now, it's locked out my fruiting ability, so I have to plant do more chickens. But that's okay. We'll put them over here. Now, that's out outside the village, but it'll have an effect on this blueberry patch. The granary just finished. So this is this. So if we get some mines, that'll be quite handy for them. And that gives them a ambassador. Yes. And that's the forest ambassador. Forest Ambassador will grant abilities to the people you give him to, and that ability varies depending on who you end up giving him to. Rock Giant is awoken, and Buddy is in need of an ability. So, as you can see, the Rock Giant currently has no abilities. Pick up the Ambassador with the Rock Giant. So, if that's a little counterintuitive. What you're really doing is you are basically clicking on the guy with your rock giant. That's a right click. He picks him up. And now he rides on top of his head. Right there, as you can see. And that's given the rock giant an ability precious minerals. So we can plant this underground. And as you can see, this has pl put a mineral deposit in place, which generates eight wealth. There's a symbiosis that can come into play with 10 wealth in use, uh, which would provide plus 10 wealth if next, next to an animal nest. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the granary is here, and as you can see, it's now producing 15 food for this one mineral deposit. 
So the village itself is now producing 50 food and 8 wealth. It's currently utilizing 2 of that 8 and 31 of the 50. Prosperity is 34. They are prosperous and doing well. So we need to place the desert by raising a mountain. Um, let's see here. Let's drop it there. That way we can have a mountain here. That way we can have desert then mountain. They occasionally dance when they're not doing anything with them. So, there we go. We now have a mountain. Now we're going to place some domestic animals in the desert as part of the tutorial. So, let's do that right here. We're in a settled desert village, basically. The tutorial hasn't told us to do this yet, but I'm going to put some fruiting plant here on the, on the mountain. So the village is formed. There's the desert village. And they've gone immediately to their little project. Which is a shrine. A shrine requires wealth and food. Which will provide plus five food for each animal within border. So this like animal here, these little kangaroo rats, and they get a symbiosis with mineral within range, so they get an extra plus two food for the, that, that this mineral being here. Uh, so what we should be focusing on is making sure that there's uh, plenty of animals in their region, because uh, <coughs> that symbiosis will pay off. But also we need enough wealth to generate the necessary wealth for the, sh for the shrine. We got the 10 wealth and we have the 17 food actually, so we're gonna be able to complete as soon as the village grows enough, basically. So, gotta wait to complete the project. Project's getting there. Up 
figure they're getting greedy. Now what happens if I plant a fruiting plant here in the desert? Get this kind of withered shrub. Not very nice on by itself, but potentially useful once things are going better. And if you plant a mineral next to it, it does uh, improve the nature ability of the area. There we go, that's the shrine done. So that finishes the second arrow, and now we're going to go through the third <coughs> beginning. This is the final tutorial, I believe. So once again we wake up, and the place has gone all to hell. You think you'd learn, but no. So we got to summon, resummon our pals. Wait a minute, this isn't somebody we recognize from before. That's the swamp guy. Right. So, swamps, again, require water, just like the land, just like uh, forests do. See, if I try to do this right now, this big red X there it won't work. So, we're going to sink an ocean in. I might as well just do it where the guy's standing, because this is a ball. It doesn't matter where we start. Right, so they want us to have a great big swamp, 13 patches. There we go. And Swampy has just gotten a new ability, he can plant herbs. So we're going to plant some herbs right here. Right, so what do we plant? We plant peppermint. Oil roots, plus seven tech for each mineral next to it. Hmm. And it produces two nature on its own. Herbs help you produce technology. And you can make it more advanced civilizations through technology. The ocean giant has gotten a new ability. That's the growth aspect. Now, placing aspects on things, see, is not actually placing a thing. It is modifying a thing. Alright, so, here we have our peppermint, and it can have aspects, right? One aspect, and what we're going to be doing is placing that growth aspect on the peppermint. Now, the growth aspect by itself will add one food to the peppermint. one nature. So it's now producing two food actually. Even better. And three nature and it's uh, being picked up by the village of course. Now because that's been be, has that growth aspect you can transmute the peppermint into tomatoes. which is what it wants me to do right now. So we're just, all you need to do is click the button. They now become tomatoes. Tomatoes produce much more food. You get a plus half tech for each one food on this patch. So, what do they want to do? They want to start a school. Okay. So what do we need for a school? Well, we need technology and use, 15. And we need food and use, 15. Okay. 
And what does that do? Outdoor classes. Plus two food and plus two tech for each tomato within borders. So, clearly go with tomatoes. <clears throat> And the aspects have cooldowns just like the other powers do. if I put a domestic animal here in the water? What happens if I put one here in the, in the swamp? That's the whole experimentation of the game. As you can see, I can't put one here in the village, but I could put one here. Why not? I'll show you. I get frogs. school's been built. <clears throat> we got a forest ambassador. A swamp ambassador, actually. And we get to choose which uh, person to put them on. So, let's say I wanted to give... Yeah, pick up the ambassador by selecting a giant and click on the text bubble with the right mouse button, but I know that. But, who do you want to give it to? Who will it help? Now, if I give it to Swampy, Swampy gets this ability, Toxic Aspect. If I give it to, well, the Krabby, Krabby gets this aspect, which is Herd Aspect. So, Toxic or Herd? I'm gonna go with Herd. and stick a domestic animal here in the water and see what that looks like. Mackerel. So it's fish in the water now. And here's the herd aspect. So herd aspects are played on animals, not played on plants. Now if I play a herd aspect on here, you might be able to move into otters. If I play a herd aspect on here, you can move into sea bass. And knowing how all this goes is part really what you're going to explore. So the prosperity of the village is everything in play, 47. In order for a new village to settle, you must fill the prosperity bar, which you can view in the upper left corner. Okay, so that's this here, and it's full, 25. And our forest giant is woken up. Nice to see a slug of bed. Forest giant is awakened, and you can plant fruit plants. So we need to get prosperity above 60 here. I'm going to plant a fruit plant over here. Now, what kind of plant is that? That's an elderberry, right? 
Now, if you might remember from the frogs, the frogs have a thing that they do with elderberries. So I'm going to put that some frogs over here. Right, so, plus two food and plus one range if next to an elderberry. So, it affects a larger area because it's next to an elderberry and it has that extra food. And the elderberry produces extra nature because it's next to an animal nest. So that's a nice symbiosis there. Those two will work together. Now, I'm going to go and put a herd aspect on my frogs over there. Because they're not near elderberries. And we're going to turn them into otters. As you can see, that didn't work. Let's try it again. There we go. I'll turn it an otter. And it gets plus three food if next to a plant, which it isn't at the moment, but it will be. place the one fruit plant during the tutorial here. Oh well. So we need to raise a forest. The easiest way to raise a forest is on the opposite side here of the ocean. Yeah, I apparently must be doing the one thing. So, Swampy now has exotic animals. I'm like, exotic animals, what am I going to do with that? Well, I can put them in the water, I can put them in the forest, I can put them in the swamp. And depending on where you place them, you get different things. So, like here I put it in the water, I got clownfish. can't use the other ones yet, so move them over here. Right, now we're going to drop one right here on the edge. Right, what that makes? Stoats. Now, they get plus two wealth if there's a mineral in there. here for the forest. There he is. Now you can see we can't make stoats have a herd aspect. They can have a lesser predator aspect or a lesser exotic aspect, but they can't have a herd aspect. Well, you can give them a herd aspect, but it won't allow us to make transmutation. Alright, so here's mineral giant. Rock giant. 
rocky. Now, remember that you want this to be within the range of the other one. And since you can't build on top of the village, it'll have to be here. There we go. Right, so now I need to make some blueberries, because I'm allowed to make blueberries again. Blueberries can transmute into strawberries with a leaf aspect. So, this is the leaf aspect. And I'm going to make a strawberry. Blueberries next to strawberries create some symbiosis for both of them. So, do that. There we go. A lot of food, as you can see. And while you're paused, you can look around. Alright, so what's the project? The project's a shrine. You've seen the shrine before. We need food and wealth. What does the village have? The village has plenty of wealth, none of food. Okay. see, I'm really only able to do one thing at a time, but, I mean, you can send people off to do different things. Right, I don't need Rocky right now. I'm going to go and have Rocky put up a mountain over here, yeah, so you can see the mountain next to the forest.
atta uh, clan, Legion Mouth, is attacking New Mouth clan here on the opposite side. They're sending an expedition, and they're going to go and attack, and water doesn't stop them. So, what's happening here? They'll just think about a war. They'll just start to want more than from the giants. They're not influenced by danger. The other village, the one we've been ignoring, is at war with Legion Mouth because they've been attacked. They respect the giants, and danger is not an influence again. as the village falls into utter chaos. Mm -hmm. Now who do I want this thing to pick this up? So let's see, we got an exotic aspect on minerals. Fruiting aspect. Reaction aspect. So it makes minerals reactive. Now you can't give two to a giant when you already have one up, unless when there's anyone without one. So you can't give this to the ocean guy even though it would give some interesting effects. Now rock or swamp giant should is going to have to destroy the village apparently. Because apparently they are beyond saving. So we're going to give him an earthquake. It's going to be a bad day for those in Legion Mouth. But I can't have them over here attacking these people. And now you can actually start an era properly. So that takes you through the tutorial. There's a lot more to know. And fortunately they give you a wiki link right here. Um, if you want to see more, I will take you through some more. But uh, leave your comments and suggestions below. You know, if you like the video, I will make more of these. Um, hope you ha found that useful. Um, and have a very nice day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.